Good morning everybody, it's Wednesday the 8th of August, my name is Sarah Louise and you're watching XV's News Broadcast. Let's start with the technical outlook for the euro dollar. We are expecting that price won't be able to break above daily pivot because it will rebound and target will be at S1 support while consolidation will continue. Further fall towards S2 support hasn't been excluded yet. However, if price rises above daily pivot, it will negate previous conclusions, target will be at R1 resistance and consolidation will be underway. Overview of x chosen indicators shows a bearish trend today. Secondly, we have the dollar yen outlook. Price is testing daily pivot and break below this level will target at S1 support. Deeper decline in this case will confirm downward movement and next objective at S2 support. But if price rebounds, rise will continue and price will retest resistance R1. A vast majority of our indicators expect a bearish trend today. Following that, our outlook concerns the sterling dollar. Price has declined below daily pivot and current target is at S1 support. If price rebounds, we can expect retesting daily pivot and objective will be at R1 resistance. According to the summary of chosen indicators, we can expect a bearish trend today. Finishing up our outlook is the dollar franc pair. We can expect that price will rebound from daily pivot and consolidation will continue limited. Break above resistance will mean that consolidation is complete and next objective could be at R2 resistance. Indicators show a bullish trend for the dollar franc pair today. Today we start with figures concerning about German industrial production which will be released at 10 am GMT and will have a medium impact on the euro. We can expect that production will decline to minus 0.8% compared to previous rise 1.6%. Next news will be released at 1.30 pm GMT from the United States concerning about prelim non-farm productivity. Analysts expect a medium impact on the dollar and it is expected productivity will rise by 1.5% while in a previous survey it declined to minus 0.5%. At 10 to 1 tomorrow morning GMT, we can expect that Cabinet Office is going to report figures about Japan's core machinery orders. In a previous report, orders fell by 14.8% and now analysts expect rise by 11.3%. Moreover, it will have a medium impact on the yen. And finally, we bring you our summary of the best traders and their strategies on X-Ray which are available to you. The Teo strategy for Kiwi Dollar moved from second place to first place, gaining 447.2 points. Teo for OCN fell to second place with 670.2 pips. APS GTS1 remained unchanged at third place with 701 pips. Low risk invest in multi trader platform fell by 0.65% but was able to remain at first place. India Rose hasn't changed since yesterday, but third FX multiplier declined by 0.5%. The biggest rise recorded LW Trading, which has risen 22%. Also, second Joiny Jang increased, but only by 2%. TK Trading is holding at third place with 203%. And on this date in 1969, at a zebra crossing in London, photographer Ian Macmillan took the photo that became the cover of the Beatles album Abbey Road, one of the most famous album covers in recording history. Thanks for tuning in to X3's news broadcast, have a great day trading and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye!